when did you become aware that he admitted that under oath? Uh, about five minutes ago. And is that a concern that he would be doing that again? I, I, I can't speak to something that I've, I've literally just heard about. I've spoken to my client about it many times, is that he doesn't want Hecker to die in jail without being convicted. He very much wants a conviction. Um, it is long, long overdue. And, you know, my, my message would be justice is coming for you, Lawrence Hecker. You've evaded it for 60 years, but you're no longer going to evade it. A former New Orleans priest accused of rape and kidnapping was a no-show at his pretrial hearing earlier today. We're talking about Lawrence Hecker. He's in the hospital as his trial nears, but inside the courtroom, there were new details revealed. WDSU investigative reporter Aubrey Killian was there as it all unfolded in criminal court. Aubrey. Hey, Gina. So like you mentioned, a lot unfolded inside the courtroom. Today, prosecutors said that Lawrence Hecker admitted under oath to viewing child porn. This came after Hecker's attorney said the jail can't meet his needs. They tried to get Hecker under home incarceration. The judge said that he would not allow that. Court records allege Hecker is a confessed child sex abuser and rapist. He is accused of raping and kidnapping a teen in the 1970s. We questioned him in June and he wasn't arrested until September. Hecker's attorneys spoke after court. Take a listen. And we need to stop acting as if that has already been proven even though prosecutors say he's admitted to it in records? Aubrey, prosecutors, prosecutors say that's their job. I mean, they, their, their job is to present what the evidence that they believe is the strongest to convict them. I feel like they are delay tactics, but, you know, that's compounded by the problem of us having had uh, Hecker's personnel file, which is largely what the indictment is based on, uh, for about four years now. And up until June, all of those documents were somehow sealed or under a protective order. There are multiple felonies contained uh, in these documents. And so uh, it, it's frustrating. And Hecker has pled not guilty. He heads back to court next Friday. Well, attorneys for a 92 year old former priest accused of rape and kidnapping say they want him out of jail because of his health condition. The accused child molester Lawrence Hecker is in the hospital right now. WDSU investigative reporter Aubrey Killian just got back from court. Aubrey, a lot of developments coming out today. Hey, Travers, that's right. So when Hecker's attorneys asked for home incarceration, Judge Ben Willard fired back saying that is not going to happen. Hecker's attorneys say the jail can't care for him, but in court, prosecutors fired back saying they oppose Hecker returning home, saying he would be around small children and be on a computer, saying, quote, he's already under oath admitted that he looks at child porn. Court records also allege that Hecker is a serial child sex abuser, rapist, and a diagnosed pedophile. He is accused of raping and kidnapping a teen in the 1970s. When we spoke to him last year and asked about the allegation, he said that there's good and bad in everybody. Today, I spoke with Hecker's attorney after court about a deposition that Hecker took years before he was finally arrested this past September. Were you present when he took a deposition? I was present for a deposition in, in the federal matter. Uh, I don't recall that at all. It, it, it seems like I would, but who knows, you know? Did you he admit to any sex abuse in that deposition? Um, that was probably two or three years ago. I honestly don't remember, Zach, and it was two or three days long. So it was, it was, you know, it was a lot. So I actually don't recall him admitting to that. Um, he certainly has the right, to, you know, to a Fifth Amendment like we all do. So like I said, honestly, I don't recall that. With respect to the child pornography, uh, that excerpt was actually put into the record by the district attorney. And so they they both should know about that because it's part of the record of the case they're defending. Um, you know, I know Gene Redman. I've known him a long time. Uh, Gene was present and defended Hecker's deposition that I took on December 14th and 15th of 2020. Um, he seems to have some memory lapses. I certainly don't. Um, all I can say without disclosing the content of the deposition uh, is I very much remember what Hecker admitted to, and I'll have to leave it at that.
And I will have much more on that interview tonight on WDSU News at 4, 5, and 6. Hecker has pled not guilty. A hearing it is set for next Friday to figure out where Hecker will go next. So I just put the scar tissue on and buried it. This man, who we are not identifying, says his alleged abuse is similar to skin cancer. He says he was sexually abused by Lawrence Hecker as a child. And my scar tissue, I guess, was my protection. He protected himself by burying the memories. It still hurts when you feel all that and you see it all and it comes back to the memories and it still hurts because you always think you could have done something different. But I think you still should pay the price in this, war in this life, but it's going to pale in comparison to when he meets Christ, when he closes his eyes. He's left the Catholic Church for good and is calling on Archbishop Gregory Amen to resign. I'm not a prisoner of religion right now. I'm at rest now. I'm at peace with myself. I no longer blame myself for, for the things that happen. I am saved. I know that my eternity is guaranteed to me. You see more looking through the rearview mirror than you do looking through your windshield as far as stuff that had happened. Survivors and their attorneys have fought to make sealed records linked to Lawrence Hecker public. The district attorney's office says they fought to get them. There's good and bad in everybody. I tracked Hecker down last June. So have you ever in, in your life as a former priest touched a child? No comment. While Archbishop Amen says he reported Hecker to law enforcement, he had this to say in August. Do you believe Hecker should have been in jail? I have mass this evening. Hecker was then arrested in September, accused of raping and kidnapping a teen in the 1970s. Court records allege Hecker is a confessed child sex abuser and rapist. They also show a memo to Archbishop Amen in 2012 stating this is the ninth allegation we have on record against Hecker. Catherine Robb with Child U.S. Advocacy is a survivor of sex abuse and pushes for change nationwide. We asked about the diocese sealing records. What's your reaction to that as someone who fights child sex abuse? Well, I think Bishop Amon has blood on his hands because he looked the other way while children were in grave, grave danger from just this one perpetrator, and there are countless others. Rob says most survivors don't come forward until they're between the ages of 50 to 70 years old. Many take the secret to their grave, something this man planned on doing until now. While he's left the Catholic Church, he still has placed his faith in Christ and says by telling his story, he hopes it heals any survivor's scars too. After I entered into that relationship and I was saved, it made all this a lot easier. It gets me to the point where I can give a testimony and a message and talk about what happened to me. And I just hope you know, that people have an open enough mind and maybe give it a shot. So take a look. The Archdiocese issued the following statement. It reads in part that inflammatory and disparaging comments about the Archdiocese and Amen do not change the facts of the situation, but serve only to further confuse the public. If you want to see that full statement, head to the WDSU mobile app. Ninety two year old Catholic priest Lawrence Hecker was in Orleans Parish jail awaiting trial for rape and kidnapping. But now Hecker's in the hospital suffering from what his lawyers are calling mental decline. WWL Louisiana investigator David Hammer got a key confession from Hecker before he was arrested. David has the latest now. Lawrence Hecker's defense attorney says the retired priest is too infirm to stay in jail and can't remain at University Hospital. The East Feliciana Hospital is, is potentially an option. Um, th this is something that we're going to have to take a little bit more time, get some more records, um, have him evaluated uh, by some uh, other doctors, and hopefully we can have something settled by next week. But Hecker stood for 18 minutes in the August heat for an on-camera interview with us. That's when he shockingly confessed that he molested teenage boys in the 1960s and 70s. Not one chance in a million that anything like this would ever happen again, that 
Obviously, I'm truly repentant. Do you feel that you've changed or you just have kept yourself out of those situations? Well, I've kept myself out because I've changed. But has he changed? In court today, prosecutor Ned McGowan said Hecker admitted under oath that he still looks at child pornography. But he did admit that he's still looking at pornography, child pornography. I, I, I don't have record of that. But that's what the prosecution said in there, right? That, that is what he said on the record, yes. But do you dispute that? Uh, I, I, I'm not in a position to, to take a position on that either way. I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. I have not heard that. I've not seen that. Hortsburg tried to suggest home confinement, but Judge Ben Willard shot that down immediately. He said, quote, that's not going to happen. The breaking news, jailed Catholic priest Lawrence Hecker is now in the hospital. He was supposed to be in court today for a pretrial hearing on child rape and kidnapping charges, but the 92-year-old was a no-show because he is at University Medical Center. WWL investigator David Hamer was in court and has some key new details for us. David? Yeah, Wesley, a lot to unpack from court today. Hecker's defense team says the retired priest is in the hospital after suffering significant mental decline while in jail. They said the hospital wants to release him and the jail doesn't have the ability to take care of him. Hecker's been in jail since September. He was arrested just two weeks after he admitted to us on camera that he sexually abused at least three underage boys in the 1960s and 70s. He told us then that he's truly repentant and hasn't touched a child in decades. But the big headline in court today, the prosecutor stood up and said Hecker admitted under oath that he still looks at child pornography. I asked Hecker's lawyer, Bobby Hortzberg, about that after court. But he did admit that he's still looking at pornography, child pornography. I, I, I don't have record of that. But that's what the prosecution said in there, right? That, that is what he said on the record, yes. But do you dispute that? Uh, I, I, I'm not in a position to, to take a position on that either way. I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. I have not heard that. I've not seen that. Now, Judge Ben Willard gave both sides until next Friday to figure out how to get Hecker proper medical care. Prosecutor Ned McGowan offered a hospital in East Feliciana Parish as an option. Hortzberg tried to suggest home confinement again, but Judge Ben Willard was clear. He said, quote, that's not going to happen. A trial date has been set in another high profile sex assault case. This one against a retired Catholic priest. Lawrence Hecker's trial on rape, kidnapping, aggravated crime against nature and theft charges is now scheduled for March 25th. The 92 year old former priest has been in the Orleans Parish Jail since September. His arrest came just weeks after Hecker confessed to having sex with underage teens in the 1960s and 70s on camera in an exclusive interview with WWL investigator David Hammer and Ramon Vargas at The Guardian. Now, despite that confession, he denies the allegations in this criminal indictment that he allegedly choked a high school student and raped him while he was unconscious. 